And they're doing that in joy and in love. I hope you see that all around you because it's happening probably right in your pew or near you. Third love story <clears throat> this week. You may know <laughs> Marissa, Ben can crawl around. <laughs> we don't care. Ben, it won't be much longer. Just a minute. <clears throat> Stuart Fitzpatrick passed away. Many of his friends came and sat with him and prayed as he was dying. There are those who have prepared disaster preparedness books and pamphlets and lists and things to try to help us to do and be prepared for a disaster. Those are out here. There are many who are visiting hospitals and people in their homes every week. People giving rides, people taking communion to other people, people going on errands and picking up medications, people calling each other just to make sure they're all right, sending cards, praying with each other, fixing things in their home, including computer repair, helping people to get clothes, babysitting, teaching and tutoring and telling and helping people with their finances and what to do. Financial counseling is what I want to say. Consultation on construction. <laughs> do I get this roofer or that one? Providing some sort of legal advice and bringing food to each other. Are you getting it? Are you seeing to what is happening all around you in this congregation? You see, one of the things that Helen Keller said, besides it's a terrible thing to be able to see and have no vision, she says, I long to accomplish great things but it seems like what I'm left doing is attempting to accomplish small things nobly. My calling seems to be doing such small things. I don't pray for tasks that are equal to my powers, but I pray for powers to accomplish the tasks that I want to do. Helen Keller, in that third instance said the thing that really opened up her heart was when she came to understand love. Anne had been talking to her about love and trying to teach her different things about love. And on that day, the sun was shining. And Helen says, is that love? Said, no. She got some grass and a flower, and she says, is that love? No. She hugged her. And Helen says, is that love? And then Anne started doing this to her. That's love. And Helen said, it was when I could start feeling my heart reaching out and it's like lines between me and other people, rays of light, energy between me and whoever was out there. She says, I could feel the love from them. And I knew then what that meant. So you see, I guess... If we can see, we need to have vision. We need to bring our power to the task. We need to open up in love to each other and let our hearts feel these lines, this energy, this connection between each other. And the greatest love 
is from that Matthew 27. And you know it. You shall love the Lord your God. All your hearts, all your soul, and all your strength. Now, would you, uh, just an example, would you tell them about what you're doing there, Carrie? Yeah, just come on up here. <laughs> My name's Carrie Cook. What? Carrie Cook. I'm a first year student in the School for Deacons. Every year, the first year students have a project that we undertake during Lent. It's called the Sock Project. Last year, Rick Bender did it here. This year, it's my turn to do it. This is our sign. We've got a big barrel in the back. So all through Lent, we'll be asking you to bring in socks, white socks if possible, for both male and female. We will take them down to Santa Clara Urban Ministries. These socks are to go out to help the homeless. If nothing else, reach out through our hearts by the support we give them to help them keep warm. Thank you. Thank you for the love that you're doing, Carrie. <laughs> Two weeks from tonight, we're doing the Sama Banquet. It is badly needed throughout all the world. The help is badly needed. Somebody once said to me, you know, Jim, you're always asking for something. <laughs> as long as there is a need, I'll always be asking for something. But what I will always expect is that we love each other with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, and all of our strength. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.